Okay, checking some Windlink email here, people that are checking on me. And um, right here, this person, KI5HZZ, says, video idea, make a quadrifiller heliax antenna from two inch PVC and some number 10 ground wire and download weather satellite images at your hurricane hotel. Well, let me show people that because I've done that years ago and I wanna show you right now, I'm using this program as a trial called Black Cat HF Weather Facts. And, and it, during this hurricane in the next eight to 10 hours, there's probably gonna be no internet, no TV. And the only way I would be able to get information from NOAA, from the uh, National Weather Service and Hurricane Center and stuff would be over a way of doing it would be over hf now listen well that's getting ready to start right now so hold on we're gonna okay i'm set there it goes okay now here we go we have 8.502 all right it's basically like slow scan tv i have my loop antenna out on the patio out there and i am downloading at 120 lines per minute, basically, um, you know, it hears tones and it puts those tones together on the screen. Um, for instance, I think a white tone is like 1500 hertz, uh, a gray tone is 2300 hertz. And it basically swip swaps between, you know, grayscale and it draws it line by line at 120 lines per minute. I think it's a half a second per line. And basically, what you'll hear. Right, and there's a lot of different things on a schedule that you can see. For instance, if I go down here to this website I was on, okay, I'm listening to Louisiana, which is, oh, power's already flickering, uh, right here, um, eight dot eight five zero two, is what I'm listening to. That's 24 hours a day, and here is like a schedule. Of what they'll do, they'll do a 24, 36 hour wind seas forecast in two charts. They'll do, uh, wow, the lights are blinking, guys. I hope I don't lose power. It ain't even windy yet. Um, and, you know, tropical surface analysis. They have a high seas forecast. They have a GOES-8 infrared tropical satellite image, U.S. surface analysis, and, and more. There's a lot of different um, states and countries that do this. I mean, you know, U.S. Coast Guard, Port Reyes, California, um, you know, in the U.K., Bracknell, U.K., even in the Russia and... Um, Russia and, and Korea, I saw some stations and, and stuff like that. But right now, I'm listening to what I can receive, which would be wherever Louisiana is. There it is. Okay. Now, very easy to do. All you need is a radio that will tune that frequency. Okay. It could be even a short wave receiver with an antenna and plumb that uh, audio from the radio into your sound card on your computer, receive only. And then when you open your favorite software, which is probably other softwares, this one, I don't know what it's drawing yet. It's a lot of white, All right? But what you do is you can see up here that there's two peaks and you should follow the, you know, what the website says and put your frequency, your transmitter right on there. But if your transmitter or your receiver is off frequency a little bit, you want to align it so those two peaks are right there in that window. And, um, you will see an image start to go. See? Now what we're downloading here, I'm not sure yet, um, but uh, it's grayscale and it takes a long time. If I could show you what an image would look like I downloaded last night, it would look something like this. That was pretty good. That was at uh, 12.748.1 megahertz and it saved it, automatically saved it. But you can see there it'll give you um, wave heights and wave directions. So they, they changed the schedule on what uh, what you're, you know, based on what you're looking for. And it takes a, a long time to go through different uh, maps here. So right now, going back over to here, let's listen in. All right. So 2300 hertz is white and 1500 is black, I think. But this is now the National Weather Service, uh, National Hurricane Center, Miami, Florida, high seas forecast for September 28th. Now, over the next few minutes, it's gonna draw the, the forecast here and I'll get that information. But uh, long story short, you know, you may be in an area or situation such as myself where you won't be able to get any kind of radar on the internet or website or any of it think about your sailboat think if you're in a sailboat and you don't have um 
you know, and you don't have, see, I just got a tornado watch for Leon County. We're under a tornado watch right now. It just popped up. So it's coming. Um, so yeah, if, if you're in this situation and you need weather, this may be your only way of doing it. And I'm sure there's more sophisticated ways with modems and stuff. And again, if I had something a little bit better than that loop out there, maybe like a long wire or something, dude, it'd be, it'd be just, I'd probably pick up all of them. This is the one I seem to have found the best on this loop. So there you have it. Uh, just an update that getting everything prepared. And thanks for the email for the idea to show this.